Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot. Here to bring you another reading for the channel for the week, for the day commencing for February 8th, 2022. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's go ahead and dive into this reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay, <clears throat> let's see here. Power of number 10. We could see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords in my mind's eye. Possibly the Ten of Cups and or the Ten of Pentacles. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio such as yourself. Mm -hmm. With the Wheel of Fortune, what goes around comes around. Power of number 11, we could see the Justice card. You could be dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. Power of number 9, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September. Looks like we're going to go the distance and go into the number 30. We could also see the Empress card show up. Creative new projects that are in the works for you guys right now and big new beginnings. Some of you could also be coming into motherhood for some of you. Power of number zero circulating in there. We could see the fool card wiping the slate clean or this person, Scorpio, wants to wipe the, sl wipe the slate clean with you. Take a leap of faith. This could also be about you, Scorpio. Basically, taking a leap into the unknown. Maybe you've been thinking about, again, starting up a business. Maybe you've been procrastinating on certain ideas that need to be implemented and put into place. We could also see um, the Sun card, the Magician. With the Sun card, if the Sun card shows up, you could be dealing straight up with a Leo. Somebody's wanting reconciliation, yes. Power of number one, we could see the Magician and or any of the Aces, so you could be dealing with any Zodiac sign. But if the Magician card kicks in, you could be dealing straight up with a Gemini. Power number 13, death card, sign of Scorpio, major change and transformation. Uh, indeed. Okay, so power of number 30. Some of you could be 30 years of age. You could be 31 years old, possibly 39. You could have been born in 1990, 1991, or possibly 1993. You could have graduated in 1990, 1991, or 1993. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay. Trusted ancestors on my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is going on with Scorpio specific person, please? What's going on in this person's environment for February 8th, 2022, please? What's up? Ah. There's that Three of Swords. We had the Three of Swords come up in the upright in yesterday's reading. Somebody is healing and mending possibly a broken heart. Or they're feeling at a loss <clears throat> with you, Scorpio. I'm hearing from Spirit pining over for your love. Something of that nature. Somebody's trying to go through a healing process right now. Mmm. That means there could have been a breakup. Yeah, see, they're wanting to come in and make an offer. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn, possibly Aquarius, Libra, 
and or Gemini. However, we got the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, the fastest moving knight. Somebody is ready to cut out people, places, things, and situations that are no longer serving their highest purpose. Or maybe this is you, Scorpio. Maybe you're just done with the BS, right? Yeah. Somebody's trying to race and charge in. They could very well be true that this person, you know, even if you're not dating anybody right now, Scorpio, but you're still thinking about this person, wondering, you know, they're going to be coming back around the bend again. Yes, they will. They will. Everything is all in divine timing. But in the meantime process, you stay true and confident to yourself, my beautiful Scorpios. But somebody's trying to race in here, charge ahead for victory. High Priestess, yeah, so High Priestess energy came up in yesterday's reading. So, eventually, it could very well be true that this person has been planning behind the scenes or there was a breakup or somebody's healing from a breakup and a split or separation. There could also be divorce proceedings that are going on right now or somebody could be going through divorce or you're waiting for your person to go through divorce. Scorpio, you could be going through divorce. doesn't have to be, but... Somebody is trying to use their best intuition when this person comes in, okay? This Knight of Pentacles, male or female, does not matter, would be one level down either from the King and or Queen of Pentacles, okay? But somebody here has been thinking. You guys could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. I'm picking up March 12th. Some of you guys are dealing with Pisces born on March 12th, more specifically, It's from the Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords. Somebody's got the mental clarity that they're coming forward towards you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That this person's this person's not going to come in with BS because they know that they can't. Bottom line. They want to come together. They want to celebrate. Ask you out on a date. They could be asking you out on the date in the next three minutes, three hours, the third hour of the day, or three days out from now, or possibly it could take three months. Okay. Message from the King of Swords that I think they've, they have found in their mind, okay, and they know in their heart, you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Yeah, secretively, somebody walked away. Somebody moved on from a relationship. They could have done this eight days ago, nine days ago, three days ago, three weeks ago. They hell, they could have walked away from this person eight to nine months ago and you still didn't know about it. But this person's been all up in their head, nine of swords. Show me the walking away, please, two, three. Yeah. Rapid fire communication coming out of the blue, out of nowhere. Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius, for some of you, does not have to be. Communication. <clears throat> they could end up communicating with you behind the scenes while certain things may be getting finalized. Or they're going to reach out and tell you, hey, got, hey, how's it going? What's going on with you? Haven't talked to you in a while. So uh, what's going on in your world? Yeah, I'm single again. How are you? They'll like not, it's like they'll, they'll push the information into whether it's a text message, a DM, they leave you a voicemail. Hey, by the way, I'm not, you know, dealing with so-and-so anymore. What's going on in your world, you know? And here you are, Scorpio. You guys are just standing in your power as best as possible, focusing in a, you're minding your own business, Nine of Pentacles, and we're in the ninth minute of this video. No coincidence. You're remaining focused like a hawk, but this person is going to tell you that they're single. <laughs> they're going to make it known to you. That's just from the Eight of Wands. Yes, they know that they have to put in the time, energy, dedication, and devotion. They're going to earn you back, Scorpio. Yep. They, they figured out that they were dealing with a karmic twin flame, Empress in the Reverse. 
So how are they going to show Scorpio that they mean business, that this is a no-nonsense, that this person has changed, they've done a 180, they're not the same person anymore. They know for certain that they want to be with Scorpio. So how are, how are they going to earn Scorpio's trust back? <laughs> Well, some of them are going to prove it through sexual, physical intimacy. Be careful. Be careful. But they may also say to you that they either want you to move in with them or they're going to ask to move in with you because the Knight of Wands can represent relocation as well. Just saying. But this person is going to be coming in very passionately. They're, they're going to want to ask you out on a date. But they're uncertain. They don't know if you're going to answer the call. They're going to try. They may try to reach out four times to get your attention. But you may be concerned because you're in the high priestess mode as well, Scorpio. Male or female doesn't matter because you're, you're wondering if this person is the same person. Mm, they're seeing a future with you. Three of Wands, looking off into the distant horizons. Yeah, they just want to come racing in. There, there's no doubt. There's no questioning in this person's mind. I don't even know if all of them have a solid plan of action. Some of them do. Some of them are just going to... I just heard from Spirit. They're going to fly by the seat of their pants. Okay? Again, they don't know if you are going to shut, shut them down. Reject them. They're worried. They're very much worried because, look at they're trying to come in as a page. I guess you got to start somewhere, but you go from the page to the night. They may ask you, like for some of you guys who are business owners, they may, they may ask, hey, you know, how's your business going? I, I got the tailwind that, you know, you're growing, you're succeeding, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're trying to make, you know, conversation to show that they're paying attention, that they're, you know, that they're taking interest. So show me the four of cups, please. <laughs> this person. Yeah, they want to take a retreat with you. They want to, we'll put it this way, escape with you to the extent they, they want alone time. They want alone time with you. Four of swords, okay. <laughs> you may need to ground this person's energy. Because they're overwhelmed. That's because of all of that rushed energy. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. They're trying to get rid of that karmic so bad. Because in yesterday's reading, some of them are willing to pay the karmic off just for them to just please go. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So, but this person is so overwhelmed. I think they're also overwhelmed with emotion. The, the, their minds, I feel like their minds are scrambling. Do -do 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 you know, they're just, they're trying to think. They're trying to think or figure out like, well, I can't come back in this way. I can't say the same things I used to say to this person. I can't flirt with them the way I used to because they're going to think I'm fooling them, playing them. So now it's like they're, they're going to have maybe no choice but to go from this night of um, pentacles Knight of Pentacles energy that we saw and go straight into the night. No, so from the Page of Pentacles, excuse me. Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. This person, for some of them, and I don't get this too often because I don't, I don't know. I have opinions on this. I don't necessarily feel that all of your partners have tried to get a tarot reading done on you. But what is interesting, I do have a Knight of Pentacles that's facing in the direction of the High Priestess. Just saying. Not everybody is that awakened to tarot and what tarot truly is and what a gift tarot can actually be. Because it can help you to make positive life's choices and also because you're working with spiritual energy your trusted ancestors etc because that's the energy i pull in or you know 
depends. It depends on what deity I work with, you know, but mostly I just, I'm mostly working with trusted ancestors, my guardian angels, etc. right? So some of them might have gotten a reading, but I don't think that's true for everybody because only if you feel like your person really actually doesn't think the metaphysical world is foo-foo or that us readers are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, okay? Um, some of them may have attempted to try to get a reading, but not all of them. So don't fall into that trap because not everybody's minds or third eye chakra or crown chakra is opened, okay? Um, but I just noticed that, all right? However... <clears throat> They know that you're intuitive. And here's the other thing, Scorpio. You could have forewarned this person. You forewarned this person that whoever they were dealing with or whoever they got involved with, you forewarned them that it was going to be a no-go for a lot of you guys. And some of you were just shaking your head like, is my person really truly doing this to me? They're going to run off with a karmic? Yeah, you forewarned them. And so for some of them, they're having to swallow their pride. Some of them are having to swallow their pride and their ego because you forewarned them. And that could be another reason why, too, that they haven't reached out just yet. Because I think they may be possibly astonished or overwhelmed with the accuracy that you told them. That this wasn't going to work out. That they were going to have trouble. That they were walking away from the best thing that they had in their life. To go deal with pretty much bullshit. Okay? Bottom line. And that could have also been you forewarned them about their cuckoo family members. Okay? The ones that are snarky and deceptive and whatever. Gab, gossipers, whisperers. The ones that were destroying, the family members that were destroying your relationship. But, oh, no, they had to stay attached to the hip. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why they haven't, for some of them, they haven't come to apologize just yet. Page of Cups in the reverse on the bottom of the deck because you forewarned them. And your accuracy has, like, it's blown their minds, Scorpio. Show me the Three of Swords in reverse, please. Yeah. See, now, see, they need time to heal. Not a lot of time. You, you choose when you want the healing process to be over with. And a lot of you guys are just like, okay, does this person really need to go through a healing process? Some of them do. Because if they haven't learned the lesson, they need to go rogue. They need to go silent. And think about what they've done. Yes. But on the other hand, yeah, guess what? Some of you guys are going to get lucky and this person's just going to be like, nope, I'm done with that person. I realize what I did, blah, blah, blah. Will you take me back? I mean, I'm telling you, they're going to try to pull out every stop that they can to figure out how to get back on your good graces because of the eight of pentacles, okay? So, <clears throat> and then it's like, yeah, look at They're wanting to race and rush into a commitment with you. Hierophant, bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are dealing with them Tauruses or Geminis throughout the month of May for some of you. Yeah, they're going to want to race and marry you. Some of them are just going to ask you to marry them out of the freaking blue. Yeah, they're because now they're single. Has this person truly learned how to love themselves? You know? This person needs, it's like they thrive off of being in a relationship. This I don't know if some of these partners of yours, you guys, can handle being alone. So think these things through, okay? You know your person better than anybody else. You know some ins and outs, okay? But some of them are going to race and charge in. They probably want to take you off of the dating market. Here you are, beautiful queen and or, quote unquote, king of cups. Male or female, doesn't matter. This person does have a lot of love for you. Their, their love for you never stopped, but look at they're coming in with a major offer. Even though some of them have not healed, yeah, they want to take you out. There's that page of pentacles. They want to make plans. What else? But they may not quite apologize the way that you want them to for some of you guys. They may try to kind of beat around the bush, okay? Beat around the bush. You'll know. 
you'll know. And if anything, you guys, go slow. Just go slow. If this person's trying to speed shit up to get you in a relationship with them and all of that, that's going to be your judgment call. If you feel like you can just, boom, dive on in, just remember, you may not be able to pick back up where you left off. You're going to have to rebuild the relationship. You're going to have to become the best of friends all over again for some of you. Because this person has got to process what they've also been through. And some of you guys are in this healing mode from the breakup, from the separation, from the split, from the anguish. And watching this person in the past go off to go be with the wrong person or listen to the stupid ass family members that try to break your relationship up in the first place. Okay. So like I said, they may beat around the bush. Some of them will come in genuinely to be like, um, yeah, I really messed up. I don't know if you'll ever forgive me. I don't know if that's even possible, but I have to get this off my chest. Some of them will come in in that type of energy. Some of them are just going to, I need you. You are the one. I'm, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop because I'm going to keep ringing your phone. Where's that four of cups? I'm going to keep ringing you, DMing you, Instagramming you, Snapchatting, <laughs> Snapchatting you, TikTok you. <laughs> you know, I'm just, they're getting, some of them are just going to do whatever it takes because they're just like, oh my God, I got to hurry up. I got to get back to my person. They're scrambling. They're scrambling. OMG. Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel, for reaching out to me. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers for your own personal situation, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and Victoria and I will put you on the recording schedule for your personal reading. We'll let you know what days uh, are available for me to conduct those recorded readings for you. So, and you can inquire into the pricing, which is exceptionally reasonable even a lot of my clients can attest to that they don't think I charge enough for what I do <laughs> thank you for that compliment you guys and for everybody who booked a reading over the last two to three weeks thank you so much I really appreciate all of you so anyway I'll be back for another reading for the channel take care